Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3. And you can catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Or you can come and visit us on the south side of the square any morning from 9 on to 12 for a good cup of coffee and good conversation. We are here to serve. Um, today's weather, the cold front that has settled over the greater um, Midwest has been producing some showers in, pl in some places and um, that is the dominant pattern for the next few days. And we could see some large hail, st hail and damaging winds with this cold front and that could be um, quite serious. And it will also bring our seasonal temperatures more into the normal range. And we will we'll see that for the next few days. So we could see cool temperatures in the 50s like it was this morning, right at 56. And 60s will be seen in the Great Lakes, in the Great Lakes and all over this Corn Belt um, area. But right now in the square, it is a cool 58 with cloudy skies and winds coming in from the northeast at 11 miles per hour. And it's a little bit humid, 63% humidity. And for the next six hours, it will, should remain sunny with temperatures rising to the mid 70s, topping out somewhere at about 77 degrees. And the winds would be mild, 30 miles per hour. Uh, and tonight we could see the temperatures go down into about the 52s. Uh, the sky, sky should remain clear and the humidity right at that 63%. Over the weekend, it will be mostly sunny with the pleasant temperatures again, highs in the 81s on Saturday and lows at 53. Sunday about the same, the highs should be about 80 degrees and the lows at 56. And the winds will be coming in from the south um, between 12 and 18 miles per hour. And so we should have some very pleasant weather for the weekend for ball games and for fall gardening and whatever other activities we have for this um, weekend. In our community, we want to wish um, Randall Tucker a happy birthday. Uh, Randall, that's his birthday today, so happy birthday to you, Randall. And um, tomorrow, um, it's Bill Boyle's birthday and Logan Bear. So wish these people happy birthdays when you see them. And tonight, the St. John Tigers um, are playing at Kathleen, and the game starts at 7 o'clock. So it's great weather to go out and support them the football team and we wish them success for tonight. Tomorrow um, the mayor is inviting you for free coffee and cookies with Julian Owens, who's our mayor of St. John and uh, this should be a very casual and informal get-together and you're encouraged to bring your questions, comments and concerns it's a great opportunity to meet Julian and hear her and share her thoughts for the future of St. John. She's really interested in taking St. John forward. So come out and meet her at Poppet's Pizza on Main Street from 9 on to 11. From 9 on to 11. She plans to be there and again next week. So come out and meet the mayor. And tomorrow also is the... Um, Monarch Madness we've been talking about at the Kansas Wetland Center. Uh, this is the annual affair where they capture the butterflies and um, trap them and mark them and tag them. And the tags and the nets will be provided by the center and they will show you how to do it and how to tag the butterflies. And the kids will have um, other activities that they can do with or to do with but butterfly crafts and um, they will be handing out those um, milkweed plants and if you plant those um, you, they will encourage butterflies in your own backyard so that's all together it's a good thing so come on out and um, help tag the 
butterflies tomorrow at the Kansas Wetlands Educational Center. And they do this every year, I'm told. So that's a good thing. Uh, the Awareness is starting their uh, uh, program at the First Baptist Church and on Monday. And so that will be at 6.30 uh, and it goes on till 8 p.m. And this is the winter start of the Awareness program. And it's for children aged kindergarten through sixth grade. And the children will be learning all about the Bible and memorizing scripture verses and games. And there will be um, refreshments served also. So please call Roland, Ro Roland Broder at 620-972-4899 for more details if you want to. But please, that's a good opportunity for the children to do some interesting activities. Um, and the Stafford seniors are having their annual picnic uh, over at Hudson Community Center on September the 28th at 6 p.m. And they promised to have a good... I went last year and the entertainment was quite interesting and the food was very good and the company was even better. So come on out and just bring yourself because everything is provided and um, enjoy a good evening with the Stafford Senior um, Association. And all you have to do is to call your own senior center and tell them that you're coming. And there will be a place for you and some good fun and entertainment. And we have a new set of activities from the senior center here in um, St. John. So get your calendars out and mark your calendars. For Monday the 30th, it will be a trip to um, Dodge City Casino or the shopping mall. And the bus will be leaving right at 8 o'clock. And they should be back here at St. John's Center by 4 o'clock. And the cost for that is only ten dollars and then um, the monthly potluck supper is on Monday the 7th so mark your calendars for that it's six o'clock for the uh, monthly covered dish supper bring a covered dish and share with with everybody else and then on Thursday the 10th it's a trip to Hutchison and it's been lunch at the pizza ranch and if you haven't been to that pizza ranch everybody says it's such it's such good food i have never been so i'm looking forward to that so thursday the 10th uh hutchison trip and the shop at smith's lunch at pizza ranch and the new dylan's market square and they will be leaving here at st john at nine o'clock and return at four and Mark your calendars for Saturday the 26th for the movie night. And we will tell you more about that. Uh, the movie this time though will be in Great Bend. And we will tell you more about that. And today over at Maxwell Center, the senior center, they're serving up some wonderful pork roast with gravy sweet potatoes, Italian vegetables, and rolls, and a frosted gelatin salad. And on Monday, it should be Salisbury steak, um, pasta salad, and a tossed salad, and peaches. And on Tuesday, oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes, stewed tomatoes, and sherbet. All very good. And here at or St. John Center, we're having beef stew with scalloped apples and a zesty broccoli salad. Sounds very good. And then next week we'll tell you more what's on the menu. Again, if you need the food services, don't forget to call over at the center. They'll be happy to provide the, if you are sick and shut in, I'm happy to provide a meal for you 
because we have several volunteers who have volunteered to bring um, the meals for you so you can have them nice and hot. And flu shots are now available at the Stafford Health Department. Uh, they will bill Medicare for you or Medicaid and if you have private insurances. It's only $20 and if you want, please call over there at 549-3504 or 1-877-517-3504 for more information. But it's getting to be the winter as we get prepared for the winter. So if you need your flu shots, please call over at the Stafford Health Department. And that, like I say, it's only $20 and just bring your insurance, whether it's Medicare or whatever other insurances that you use. And a uh, thought for the day, or food for thought for today. Willpower is the ability to eat just one salted peanut. That's willpower. And do remember, our stomachs shouldn't be waste baskets. Just have a great weekend. We have great weather. Come out and enjoy the great weather.